we got the base here, and this is probably the most important part of Cyberpunk. You basically just want some kind of synth base with a lot of distortion on it. Your bass also tends to move around a lot, so rather just being kind of following the root note of the chords, your bass is almost kind of an instrument, a lead instrument itself here in Cyberpunk. So here's what I got here. Uh, for this bass, I am using a preset by Synth Control from their Cyberpunk preset pack called Killzone. Pretty cool, and I got a filter opening up, up here, so if we turn this off. So very dark, and you can really hear that distortion shine through, help it cut through the dense mix. So I just have this little filter opening up here, so it, again, is increasing in energy as it goes across the verse or the build-up section here. Uh, and then actually starting in the second verse here, I actually layered in another bass, this one from Syntronic using the T03 synth, which is based on the Roland TB303, I believe. And this is kind of the acid, classic acid bass sound. And this is also very common in cyberpunk. So I just kind of layered these two together here. So just trying to get some of that acid feel going on in here. And I just threw an ARP on some distortion, some overdrive, and then I cut out the low end because I have the uh, serum base uh, taking up the low end here. So I didn't want to make it too overpowering. Then we got the chorus here where I'm again using the kill zone serum base from synth control along with a sub base by Syntronics. That sounds like this. So again, you have the bass moving around a lot. It's almost like its own lead line, its own um, lead instrument here. So in summary with the bass, all you really need to do is just find some kind of synth bass of any kind, add some distortion, and then maybe add an arp to it or just have it play eighth or 16th notes and have it move around a lot. If you found this video helpful, be sure to hit that like button like you're Marty McFly trying to get back to the future. And if you want more help creating synthwave music, be sure to click the video playing on the screen right now as that is my full in-depth tutorial on creating a synthwave song from start to finish. With that, have an awesome day and keep creating.